Some are in foster care, other adoption. They could be in therapy groups and other family resources. They might be living in group homes. All sorts of children and teenagers can use the services. I myself raising my voice in anger because a young man staged a protest outside Batshaw Youth and Family Services Centers in Westmount today. A former resident of the center, Wendell Zanth, blocked the entrance to the building for several hours today. He claims an employee at Batshaw sexually abused him when he was minor and under Batshaw's care. Montreal police have said a complaint was filed, but the investigation was closed due to a lack of evidence. So I'm here because uh, one year ago I filed a complaint uh, with the Montreal police and with Batshaw against a child care worker who sexually molested me at Camp Weirdale and at Hawkins Home. And it's one year later and uh, nobody will answer any questions. And it seems to me nobody's interested in making any kind of investigation. Wendell Zamp spent most of his life living in foster care and group homes run by Batshaw Youth Protection Services. This is a Hawkins home. It's a group home. It's a shelter for like small children up to 13 years old. And I used to live here when I was 8 years old. And it's what allegedly happened here at Hawkins home in NDG that marked him for life. This is where I lived when, uh, when I first uh, was assaulted by him. The former foster child claims a counselor here sexually abused him close to 20 years ago. He turned to police for the first time last year after what he called several failed attempts to file complaints with fat shop. I've gone through the complaints process and they refuse to take any complaints that I try to submit to them. And there's always an excuse. If the client is not satisfied with our answer, he can appeal to the public. The complaints commissioner at Bashaw won't discuss specific cases, but admits old files and reports are often destroyed within five years after the child turns 18. You have to understand that you're being cannot be filed for, you know, forever. Montreal <laughs> police did conduct an investigation and recently handed the file over to the Quebec Crown prosecutor's office. The case was closed due to a lack of evidence. Meaning the man who allegedly abused him will not face charges unless others come forward with similar stories. Oh, it's made me very angry for the past year and I'm trying to like ventilate my anger and not get myself arrested. Batshaw won't confirm whether the person in question still works here, which is why the 35-year-old is now on a mission to warn as many people as possible. I could like stop feeling so angry if at a minimum he's not working with children. Zanth suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. He can't keep a job and has trouble sleeping. It did affect me, like, but I guess like it would affect like my my ability to have like personal relationships and stuff like that. And I guess it made me feel ashamed of myself all my life, even though it wasn't my fault. Police have warned Wendell Zant that he could be sued for defamation. Got the press asking questions, trying to stress me. Misery is all I see. That's my mind state. My history with the police is like the crime rate. My main man had two strikes slip, got arrested and flip. Two, two strikes slip, got arrested and flip. One way to go on, just carry on, don't go on, rejoice. Every time you hear the sound of my voice, just know that I'm looking down on you smiling.